Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your energy. Gosh, I just love how the universe, God, spirit works all the time. If I get out of the way. Well, I got out of the way this morning. It was beautiful because I was going to do a piece on a question, or actually many questions, all the same question for many of you, that came over the last few weeks when I shared a little bit about my morning routine. And I briefly just kind of skipped over that I meditate every single morning. And all of you who wrote this question said, you got to tell us more. What kind of meditation do you do? So I do a loving kindness meditation. And I've been doing it for years and years. It's often called the meta uh, meditation, the poly word for loving kindness. And I started doing it back when I'm in my mid-20s when I first learned about it. My first trip to India, Nepal, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama said, game changing, awesomeness. He didn't say game changing. <laughs> he just said, this is a beautiful meditation practice and he taught it to us. And it's a, it's a very beautiful, very simple meditation. Basically, there's all kinds of uh, different ways that people do it. Mine is, may you be healed, may you be peaceful, may you be kind, may you be filled with loving kindness. I recite it over and over again. I then bring in someone uh, visually into my mind's eye who I love and care about. I say those same mantra, those same phrases to them. I bring in acquaintances and then, then I bring in someone who I am challenged by, someone who I have uh, an interesting conflict with. It can be someone I know, someone I don't know. And um, that's the practice. And you can Google it, you can find many things. Well, the moral of the story is, I was gonna share with you that and talk a little bit about why I love that meditation. Uh, there's so much research, a lot of it coming out of Stanford, but guess what? <laughs> this morning, a study came out from UNC, psychologists at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, who've been looking at this meditation practice over the last three years and connecting to something that we've talked about several times here in the Treehouse, something that I think we're also incredibly excited about, inspired by continuing to protect and lengthen, and that is our telomeres. Remember telomeres? They're the things that literally protect a kind of a, almost like a cap, a bumper that's out in front of our DNA. It actually helps protect our DNA, protect our chromosomes. And the longer these telomeres are, they've been shown to be a direct impact on our level of vitality, our longevity, our defense against diseases. So you want to have long telomeres. And there's a lot of things that influence that. Managing your stress, a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, you name it. And yes, now you can guess what I'm going to go into. The UNC researchers found out that people who practice loving kindness meditation also seemed to have, not it seemed, they did have longer telomeres. And they connected it to not just telomeres in relationship to disease prevention, longevity, vitality, all kinds of things. They really got into psychological well-being, particularly increasing optimism, emotional resilience, and as well, helping people overcome trauma. So it spoke directly to PTSD and all of its various forms and how trauma and its impact when we don't deal with our trauma or we don't, we're not acknowledging our trauma and working on healing our trauma, that really impacts not only just our emotional well-being and our overall quality of life to, so to such a degree. I just want to, I'll leave it there. We'll do a whole piece on this shortly. That telomere length connected to loving kindness meditation was directly impacting our health and well-being and our helping with the healing of our PTSD and emotional trauma, generational trauma, physical trauma, emotional trauma, you name it. So there's so many good reasons to practice meditation. And if many of you want to know what I do every morning, and sometimes twice a day, I do the loving kindness meditation. I'll see if I can put a link in here for you with the one that I do. And I think you will all love it. And um, gosh, everybody, don't be afraid. Please don't be afraid to lean into meditation. And um, I think so often we get caught up in, oh my gosh, I gotta have a perfectly still body, a clear mind. I gotta do all these things. You know what? All we need to do is sit with ourselves and acknowledge the fact that um, it's work. It's beautiful work. It's loving work. It's loving kindness that we're giving ourselves. A few minutes a day is shown to be profoundly impacting on our health, our well-being, and now 
yes, our emotional well-being associated with trauma and PTSD. So um, thank you, UNC researchers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I love you for the work that you do. I love you for who you are and how you show up in the world. Thank you. I feel very blessed and fortunate, super fortunate to be in your space of grace. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.